The gentlewoman from Wisconsin, Mrs. Moore, is recognized for five minutes. Mr. Speaker, I ask uh, unanimous consent to uh, speak for five minutes and to be able to revise and extend my remarks. Without objection. Thank you so much, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I proudly present the art of the deal. The deal, the tax deal before us, uh, we provide prominent tax cuts for individuals who are multimillionaires and billionaires. With this deal, all middle class families will eventually face a tax increase since tax relief for them expires. After, and taxes, of course, go up on folk, folks earning as little as $10,000 a year almost immediately. After all, Mr. Speaker, somebody's got to pay for the wealthy's permanent tax cuts. Now, how do we get buy-in uh, from the middle class, you ask? Well, here's the beauty of the deal, Mr. Speaker. We'll trickle down a few crumbs from the master's table to get some of them through one or two Christmas shopping seasons. And let's tell them that they can do their taxes on a postcard uh, and that, that they'll just love that they won't have to go through all the tedious math work of receiving thousands of dollars in personal exemptions, state income, uh, and local tax relief. Uh, they won't have to do all that subtracting of medical expenses, student loan interest from their tax ob obligations. We'll promise them jobs. Hey, yeah, let's do that. Through dynamic scoring, trickle down in voodoo economic growth like we did during the Reagan and Bush years, back when we gave trillions of dollars in tax cuts to the wealthy and created the deficits that are now dragging on our economy. Mr. Speaker, people are so desperate that they'll believe us. Of course, we'll have to cut $25 billion out of Social Security immediately to meet budget rules, or, or maybe we could just cut some veteran ben benefits from mandatory spending. We're targeting $1.5 trillion in cuts to Medicaid and Medicare. But don't worry, Mr. Speaker, we'll just defame recipients of these benefits as unworthy welfare cheats, and the general public will go for our deal. Mr. Speaker, let's adopt a better deal. Let's pursue commonsensical means of growing the economy, like spending these trillions of dollars on infrastructure instead of a giveaway to the wealthy, by providing post-secondary educational opportunity and skill development to our next generation of innovators and workers instead, instead of taxing our students into an abyss of debt. debt let's, find, let's fund research on medical cures instead of burying the infirm into early graves. Let us reject this abomination of a tax bill. And with that, I yield back the balance of my time. The gentlelady yields.